our next session, which is going to talk about the three T's, talent, the training and technology. Now these three T's, what does it mean for the PR and COPCOM community? This is going to be taken over by Dr. Samir Kapoor, Director at Factors PR, who's here with us. A very warm welcome to you. Thank you. Thank you, Kati. Thank you so much. And my apologies for joining in a minute late. I think uh, uh, I was busy with uh, with a link issue, uh, but glad to be here. Yeah. We're happy that you're here and looking forward to your session. I'll leave the screen over to you. Right. Thank you so much and uh, greetings to everyone. It's uh, really exciting to be here and talk, uh, especially when the uh, world of public relation is at the cusp of a huge transformation specific to the perspective of what is changing this entire thing is digital and uh, engaging young talent, the current ones, the ones that are going to be the future leader for the industry, uh, of course, uh, rewarding their work and the recognition is absolutely something which is very, very great. And I would like to congratulate uh, Exchange for Media for successfully doing this. Uh, this is, of course, the second session, which they're doing really well. Uh, and I believe that uh, companies and brands, they need to talk about things that people definitely care about. So brands with purpose are therefore emerging as a, a new frontier of this transformation. Now, uh, currently what is happening is we are catering to uh, evolved set of audience, evolved set of customers, evolved set of uh, stakeholders who are not willing to digest something that was uh, given uh, during the last past, uh, you know, past decade or past couple of decades the way the PR has evolved. They don't want to have the fluff. They want to just listen to the stories that hold values and something that matters to them. So the question that millennials and Gen Z's have started off with something called what's in it for me. And therefore the brands need to figure out what's in it for them rather than just talk about, uh, about their own message. So the focus will definitely be on sending the right message to the right people. Uh, and of course, at the right time and the right place. So medium becomes important. Uh, you want to engage um, the, the new generation, which is generation alpha. You have to have a gaming as a solution in your uh, overall uh, campaign. Otherwise, you know, that generation alpha is not even speaking to you. I'm talking about the next generation after Gen Z that is going to enter into the, uh, into the marketplace. So there has been a mind shift in the consumers. The companies really uh, have uh, realized, many of them have definitely done that. And they are actively engaging with as, uh, us as agencies, as PR partners, to connect with their stakeholders, with their audience in a genuine, transparent, and more likely in a, in a human manner. Uh, you are seeing that human, humane part of this entire thing coming up with various CXOs, not only outside India, but in India as well now, trying to humanize this entire thing in their own, connect with their customers, their audiences. They are following what is called the D2C, uh, right from the biggest chair uh, in, in the country's office to the India Inc. captain. Everyone is now using their own platform to talk about it. And that is where PR has a very, very important and key role to play. Now, this current edition is, of course, dedicated to talent, which is primarily about the future leaders of public relation. And I believe to lay a strong foundation of a promising future, there has to be a concrete step that needs to be put in in the current form. So you have to seed that right now so that these leaders, of course, emerge as someone who's ready to take on or people who are ready to take on this, uh, this great profession of ours to the next level. And ever since this entire element of pandemic that has hit, every aspect of business and every aspect of communication is under question, is getting disrupted. Uh, the entire element of work-life balance uh, to the fact from working from home, which was more about survival. Now the entire aspect of uh, thriving, the new format coming in, PR, PR agencies experimenting with metaverse. And all this is, is now leading the young workforce to question, well, whether it is only about financial security, is it more about the purpose for what they are doing? So then young minds uh, today are, of course, seized with the idea now, what is it that they want to do and they want to add to, to, their, uh, to their lives? Now, I think the PR, uh, PR people, uh, PR team, and of course, the winners of 30 under 30 who are going to be the leaders for tomorrow, they are already leaders in their own right. They need to bridge this gap by encouraging amongst the new guys who are coming in, the talent that is coming in, 
by encouraging a sense of belonging in them, right? And also the fact, I'm, again, I'm thankful to Exchange for Media because they are celebrating the success of public relations and the hard work that people, uh, you know, many of our resources put in, they are, uh, they are being rewarded by, uh, by the awards that they do, by this kind of uh, celebration that they have, uh, you know, initiated every year. And my uh, kudos to the entire Exchange for Media group for uh, managing this really well. Similarly, the entire aspect that you see, I was traveling, I was out of country um, recently, and I saw this entire Pride Month that is being celebrated in the country I was. And that made me realize that not only that country, which is, of course, we think in our mind, perceptual-wise, is ahead of us, the entire thing is celebrated in India as well. The, the fact that we have one community that should not feel excluded and this entire month about celebration that has gone there is also a fact that the diversity that we are now bringing to the table and it's not only something that it's it's a good thing to have it's a must have for for all the organizations and company will have to be companies will have to be aware and more respectful to the young minds as to what is it that they acknowledge as their social and the cultural backgrounds now what can we do as agencies, as a Copcom uh, fraternity, is provide a safe and open environment to spark conversation and discuss the topics that are important. And hence flexibility because of this work-life hybrid model, work from home is becoming a guiding norm around the future of the workplace. And of course, the, the future is going to depend on how this is important. Uh, what we've also seen purely from a talent perspective as well as that talent not only from the metros and tier one cities, but tier two and other non-central location are also now becoming part of the mainstream because of this entire aspect of digitization that has ha happened. So the culture of openness where ideas are appreciated, implemented, not challenged, uh, not being thrown about is something which is important. So the first T uh, that we mentioned about is the talent part, which is talent retention, talent depreciation, and Again, uh, I want to congratulate Exchange for Media for initiating a dialogue on making sure that talent appreciation is being discussed in a big way. Uh, the second P that uh, Kathy mentioned was about training and more and more uh, people need to be trained and understand as to how this profession works. Uh, I'm very fortunate that at Ad Factors, we have a huge amount of learning and development expenses that we have put across uh, every year to make sure that all our employees are, uh, you know, are trained in the future courses so that the new age or the new digital channels that are emerging, which will showcase endless possibilities, something which was restricted as, as far as when we are focus was only to the print media has now opened up because of this digital space, whether it is online space or social media space, there are multiple things that can be done. And the new age uh, PR professional needs to be trained in all of that. They need to understand how data works. You don't need to be a data scientist, but definitely you need to understand how data works and how you can tell a story or craft a story around it so that uh, you, know, you can get more and more mileage for your client uh, on these platforms. Now, finally, coming to the fact that uh, you know, uh, the brand and agency relations are something where companies need to understand the importance of public relation, the era of uh, you know, paid format uh, or the advertising format, of course, is, is kind of undergoing a lot of changes because media is also getting fragmented. But one common thread which uh, combines all of them is, is the content where uh, public relation agencies have, a, has, have an advantage. Uh, they understand what will what will make a good story. They understand the nuance of storytelling better than uh, advertisers. Uh, and therefore, I think that's one of the reasons why the talent is also looking at public relation uh, as, as their uh, natural choice. Now, India, of course, is leading a global startup of ecosystem. And media and even consumers are uh, more interested in knowing how these businesses are faring and how much money they are making or you know, whether it is sustainable to scale them up or not. So PR, I believe, has played a key role uh, in the gap that currently exists, in bridging the gap actually. And in case there is any other gap between consumers, between investors, between policymakers and other stakeholders, public relation is best suited to make sure that we answer 
or uh, uh, understand these gaps and give our answers through a creative storytelling. Now, before uh, wrapping up, I would uh, like to highlight challenges that leaders of tomorrow are facing from a PR perspective, because as I mentioned, pandemic has totally transformed the, media, the Indian media landscape and the ecosystem also is now, uh, uh, is, is now changing. So earlier, which was only hardcore media relationship is undergoing a lot of change and stakeholder relationship is, is taking place. Influencers, um, the, the entire creator's economy, uh, influencer relationship, influencer management is becoming a core form of various PR agencies that they are using uh, you know, as, as, a, as a first mode of storytelling model. So we need to find a way to back up the, uh, to put back the trust and the warmth which are back in the relationship because no longer digital platforms that have, have their own limitations can work. So you have to find a hybrid model here as well. And my request to the uh, future leaders and the new talent is to look at both of this in their, in their own right. Now, figuring out which is the right medium, figuring out what works best is something that, you know, you need to a, get, a, uh, get a sense in. And of course, make sure that how do you find that right balance becomes a very important aspect. Now, as I said, we are catering to an audience which is always on, which is always engaged. They are more responsive. They want a conversation rather than a monologue or sermonizing anything. So how do you make sure that uh, the audience does not feel ignored? The audience feel that they, uh, their, their thing is being talked about. Now? And therefore this two way, the new web that has emerged where it is not about just giving one monologue, but having a dialogue, the best in all form of communication and having a good dialogue is public relation because you are able to adapt and change your strategy. It gives you that flexibility uh, versus an advertisement where you know once you've thought of a message and then of course it can't be changed. So responding to the messages, responding to comments, responding to feedbacks, criticism, uh, both from a macro side as well as micro influencers is something that uh, you know the brands are uh, are evolving with, understanding with, and peer professionals have to overcome uh, this inhibition that we we are only doing this part. And that's not in our uh, KRA. That is something that is, uh, you know, we all the future talent needs to figure it out. So it's exciting time to be in PR. The fact that we are all present here discussing the emerging leaders of tomorrow is a reflection of the relevance and importance. And I would like to conclude my, uh, you know, my opening interest by thanking Exchange for Media for making me a part of this. And my best wishes to all the winners and hope they will definitely take industry to greater heights. Thank you. Over to you, Kathy. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Kapoor, for sharing those insights, keeping it crisp and yet impactful. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you.